Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to each and every one of you to the Modern Muslimah Project YouTube channel. So, my name is Ustazah Nazira and we have with us here Ustazah. So, the Nikmat will be addressing one of the questions that were posed to us during our last live uh, workshop, alhamdulillah. So, the question goes like this, Ustazah. If I want someone in particular, I have to pray tahajud. When do I know to stop? Hmm. The floor is yours. Hmm. Interesting question and very brave of you to ask this type of question. Okay. It's good uh, that you know and you are aware that you, you want someone in particular. Okay. So my response to that part first, you may want someone in particular. However, if in Allah's knowledge, that particular someone is not suitable for you, you will never be able to be together. So, instead of asking for someone in particular during your tahajud, why not ask Allah to, be, to bless you with someone who is compatible and perfect for you in the eyes of Allah? So, you have to know the purpose of tahajud is actually... A time for you to have an intimate conversation with Allah. Okay, tahajud is a sacred time. Imam Shafi'i said, a dua that was asked during tahajud, there's no barrier. So we should be asking Allah about something more um, prominent. Like oh, ask Allah for heaven, ask Allah to make us the better Muslimah, ask Allah to make us someone who love Quran, who read Quran, who practice what is in Quran. Okay, I'm not saying marriage is something is not permanent. However, marriage is something not in your hand right now. What is in your hand right now is a Muslimah. Okay, a person who can read the Quran. A person who wants to be closer to Allah. So focus on this thing first. When you're during your sacred conversation in Tahajjud with Allah, use that time to do what? Salat Tawbah, Salat Hajat, Salat Sunat Tasbih, then you do Salat Istighfarah. You ask Allah, Ya Allah, should I make dua for this someone particular? Okay, that can be one of the way and on how can you ask for that some, someone particular. And the danger, if you just focus on someone in particular, Ya Allah, please grant Mr. A to be my husband. Okay. The danger part is that you may see this Mr. A as someone who is charismatic, loving, uh, passionate, work, uh, hardworking at workplace or at masjid or somewhere around the outside. Okay. However, you don't know him in his real character. Okay. Actually, we will never know who the person is until we get married. Lah. So, when you are too focused on this someone in particular, it may one, become one of the reasons that your dua for your dodo become very, 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 very long. Okay, so why not do the istikhara without any attachment to a certain ending? So my suggestion is that I really highly, highly encourage you to do, Ya Allah, please grant me or bless me with a perfect, compatible husband for me and my iman. Okay, just make a very open dua like that. Because we don't know. Allah's knowledge and our knowledge is different. Allah knowledge is vast. Our knowledge is so limited. Let Allah do his job. Okay. Allah will respond our, to our dua in a various way. Please watch me in one of the, our questions before this. So what can you do is keep your heart filled with the remembrance of Allah. Remember Allah consciously. Remember Allah 24-7 while walking, while standing, while sleeping. Okay. When you have a constant remembrance of Allah, Consciously, okay, Allah will definitely guide you to the best path that is the best according to Allah. So, if you like someone in particular, Alhamdulillah, just say this dua openly to Allah. Ya Allah, I like this guy. If he's the best for my iman, allow us to be husband and wife as soon as possible according to your timing. But if he's not the one for me, take him away from my life. Or make me forget him or give me something who, which is better. So the last question is, when do I know to stop? I say stop right now. Lah. Don't ask for him specifically in front of Allah. Ask Allah the dua that I just mentioned. Ya Allah, 
I love this person. Okay, if he is the best for my iman, allow us to be husband and wife. If he's not the best for my iman, uh, replace him with someone who is better according to your uh, knowledge, ya Allah. Okay, so when to stop, stop now. And don't ask for this someone in particular, but ask Allah openly so that you will not be heartbroken and you will not be doing Allah's job. That is one of the things that we are scared. Lah. Okay, we know Allah Al-Alim, Allah Al-Hakim, and Allah is of course Al-Khadir. He will always have our back. So if we are the one who doesn't allow Allah to do his job, so how do you think your journey towards your Mr. Right going to be smooth and easy? Okay, so don't be sad. I know my question is not, have, uh, not up to your liking, but that's the fact. Till then, salam alaikum.